Hi everyone, this video will show how you can increase OSD file size in Outlook 365. By default, the OSD file size can grow as large as 50GB in Office 365, but around 47.5GB the Outlook will stop working. There are a few ways to avoid OSD getting full. One is to prevent downloading shared mailboxes in Outlook, start an online archive, or combine both. To increase the OSD file size, we need to add a new value in the registry, and here's how you can do it. Close the Outlook first, then open Registry. Now we need to find PSD folder in the Registry. If you are on Office 365, open up this folder, the 16. So I found the PSD folder, now I need to right click and add a new value. Call this value max large file size. As an example, if I want to increase the OSD file size from 50 to 70, I'm going to add this value. I'm going to exit out of register editor. So what I did in a registry, I increased the OSD file size from 50 gigabyte to 70 gigabyte instantly. And now I can open up Outlook and, and I can start using it. This method is considered a workaround and I recommend moving the shared mailboxes to the cloud and activating the online archive based on your company's policy. It is good when the user's Outlook is stopped working and you need to fix the issue immediately. If you want to know how to activate the online archive, I already have a video for it and I will add the link in the description. Also, I can show how to move a shared mailbox to the cloud. To do that, click on File, then click Account Settings, then Account Settings again. more settings, advanced, and make sure you uncheck this box here. Once you un uncheck the box, you need to restart the Outlook. Click next. Then you close the Outlook, wait, and then you can open it again. So what happened here, the user's primary mailbox will get cached and emails get downloaded to the OSD. Everything else, for example, the shared mailbox or anything that the user will get in the future will all stay in the cloud and they won't get downloaded to it to the OSD. One of the ways that you can tell if it is working is to check the mailbox's status. If I click on the user's primary mailbox and click on the inbox, here you can see that it's it reads connected to Microsoft Exchange. But if I select any shared mailboxes, for example, this one, click on inbox, you would notice it reads online. This means this mailbox is connected directly to the Exchange online and is not getting cached. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.